zusammen, wir stehen hier im ESA-Kontrollzentrum in Darmstadt und das neben mir, das habt ihr wahrscheinlich schon erkannt, ist der gute Sean Mary. Hi Sean. Hi. Good to have you here. Yeah, thank Thanks you. Thanks for coming over and hanging out with us today. Yeah, a pretty cool location. <laughs> yeah, right? right? On a scale yeah. from 1 to 10, what is this? <laughs> it's a 10, yeah. It's a 10, right? A straight 10. They're gonna have to uh, like haul me away from just sitting at the desk yeah, right? and pretending I'm in control. Yeah, I yeah. want to be the captain so bad. <laughs> <Yeah. also. laughs> it's really great. Um, so how are you doing at all? I mean, exactly, especially after like this crazy madness the last weeks yeah. with somebody who claimed that you stole his super formula right. and all the leaks and stuff. How do you feel right now? Uh, I'm good actually, yeah. you know, um, we're finally kind of at the end or at least the beginning of the end or the end of the beginning yeah. which is like, uh, no man's sky is going to come out, yeah, right. right? And people are excited about it and you're right, loads of things happen that kind mm -hmm. of draw loads of attention. Um, I guess because we're a small studio yeah. and so we're a little bit, you know, vulnerable and, and sure. uh, things like that, but mainly people are excited about it, you know, and that's why I guess we're kind of a, we're a big game, you know, yeah. which I'm coming to terms with slowly. Big expectations as yeah, well. Yeah. yeah. You just finished the first update, can you tell us a little bit about it and how like the update system will work in the future? Yeah, uh, updating a game like No Man's Sky is kind of crazy we haven't really talked about this yet but we actually to make the changes that we wanted to make we had to regenerate the universe right oh, yeah. so we had to change some of the rules and that means that actually if you were to update um, and you were to have the old version and then update to the new one um, none of your progress is lost uh -huh. but actually everything around you changes okay. right yeah. so you can be on a whole different planet things like that right it's pretty crazy it's kind of a, a much more difficult problem than other games would have to deal with when they're normally patching you know yeah, sure. um, but for us it's this really important update we can add more content some features that we wanted to that kind of thing and um, lots of balancing because you finish a game like this and it's so huge that you know you need people lots and lots of people to play test through it yeah. and then kind of adjust to that you know and that's going to keep happening for us after the game comes out i hope i hope the community are going to tell us nicely you yeah. know, <laughs> what, nicely. what <laughs> problems that they have and stuff like that and then we can balance to that like for instance it's if people love doing a certain thing mm -hmm. we can make that either easier to do or perhaps deeper or whatever yeah. because it's kind of like in a nice way the game's a starting point us releasing it sure. you know because it's this big universe right and we're such a small group that like we can't possibly know everything that's going to happen that's one of the things that's exciting about the game is there are so many different ways to play through it or unique things that can happen um, and so we'll just we're letting players out there to yeah. kind of and sure. seeing what they do big kind of experiment and you're gonna like change the game in the ways they want you to change it or like get feedback from them and then just say, oh yeah, you guys all want to build houses, let's build houses now. Well, <laughs> in some ways yes, in some ways no. Like I'm actually, a lot of studios say that they do that. So they mm -hmm. do things like Kickstarter and early access and stuff like that. And they try to let the community design the game for them. And I'm not necessarily a massive fan of that. Like yeah. I think people want our ideas and, and for us yeah. to have some sort of control over what goes in and what doesn't and you know sometimes some things that sound exciting might not actually be that good for the player um, so we have our own opinion on where we want to take it but we have expectations of what we would like to see people doing and mm -hmm. if they're finding that frustrating or they're finding that hard or too easy or whatever it is then we're fascinated by that we definitely want to react <laughs> to that you know we're not going to ignore that yeah, sure. but in terms of like the universe itself we have loads of like ideas that they didn't really suit the initial release of the game the initial release of the game is about getting people to go out and explore the universe yeah. and so we want in so many ways like we cut ideas like being able to build a base because if you can build a base then you don't want to move and you don't want to go yeah, and yeah sure of course um, but after the game's been out for weeks or maybe months, perhaps people are bored of exploring, you know, for some people, or perhaps 
they never wanted to do that in the first place. And they're like, no, I want to build a base, you know. Yeah, sure. And then those ideas can fit in, right? But we knew that adding certain things, um, you know, would the game would become about that thing. Mm -hmm. So we we kind of want we have a very clear idea of how we want the game to be different, I guess. And so we focused on those things. Yeah. Uh, speaking of expectations, what right. do you think about hype in general? Do you think it's a good game, a good thing that could like push the game, but it also can be bad if like people maybe will disappoint it? What do you think is going to happen for No Man's Sky? I would like to pretend that hype doesn't exist around No Man's Sky, <laughs> you know, because that would help me sleep That's at night. That's kind of difficult. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, but I guess there's a couple of things, like for me, there's excitement and then there's hype and hype is normally a level of excitement that just isn't isn't like uh, isn't attainable almost uh -huh. you know what I mean that like you were hype is kind of being excited about something that isn't even in the game you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know like yeah. I guess we want people to be excited about the game um, and excited about real things so whenever we've shown the game it's always just been me normally playing through mm -hmm. right and I think people have a pretty clear idea of, of what that feels like now we've shown that kind of a lot and we're showing it again today um, and so we want to deliver that experience we want people to play the game and think wow this is the moment I just had there that's just like straight out of one of the trailers or whatever you yeah. know we want people to experience that and deliver on that and a lot of people are excited <laughs> about that thing what do you want of people to to experience because I personally look forward to people sharing their adventures like mm -hmm. with photos and videos and stuff. Is yeah. that something you want to see? Yeah, I think it will be really cool once the game is out to see what things people take screenshots of or share or whatever. But I like the idea of just people having their own experience. Mm -hmm. You know, I think like for me just seeing the different ways people play your game is always fascinating. Um, sometimes really frustrating because yeah. they, they just get so obsessed about one little thing and they just do it forever, you know. Um, like I was watching a play tester a couple of days ago who was just um, like obsessed with leveling up his suit and nothing <laughs> else he had was leveled up and he had this really crappy spaceship with this really crappy weapon and he was still having lots of trouble playing the game, you know, in terms of, you know, he was getting attacked by pirates in space yeah. and they were wiping him out. <laughs> and it's frustrating, you're like, why are you obsessed with this? But it's fun, you know, that person, they're defining their own character, you know, they've built it up in their mind. Yeah, right? You know? um, there's one little thing I have for you. So you might have read a lot of theories, what people think might be at the center of the universe. Right. I want to tell you our theory, okay. and you got to rank it. <laughs> right, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so the inside PlayStation office thinks that as soon as you get to the center of the universe, there will be planet Earth. Okay. Like way after mankind, like everything is destroyed and the ship is gonna try to land and crash there and break down and, every, and you're gonna be dead. And then Horizon Zero Dawn starts okay. from there, yeah, yeah. from this ship, from this technology. <laughs> what do you think? Can you change that? Can you make it possible? <laughs> I think you need to get a uh, gorilla to finish Horizon yeah, right. first, right? Yeah. But I will give that a 10, right? That's yeah, good. right? That's yeah. a good idea. Maybe while we wait, uh, for Horizon Zero Dawn to be finished, we can put Jet Danger 3 in there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just let, let's collect all the games, <laughs> yeah, yeah. put them together. That would actually be a good idea. Yeah, it's either that or it's Peter Molyneux who's in there. <laughs> it's got to be one of those two things. Awesome. Thank you so much for yeah. your time. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Ich komme nicht an den Scheißtopf. Ich brauche einen Teller. Wenn ich nicht sofort einen Teller kriege, raste ich aus. Guck mal hier. Ich mache